lovelies welcome back to my channel and in this video i will show you how you can access and use office 365 for free so first of all we head over to the office.com as you can see we head over to the office.com and sign in with our microsoft account and as you can see i already have my microsoft account so if you don't have a microsoft account I will advise you create one. So how do you create one? You go to the Microsoft web, website, Microsoft website, and maybe create an account. So if you click on Microsoft account login, you can use that opportunity to sign in or create your account. So, but that is not the focus of this video. So you can start using any of these Office files or Office templates if you don't have money to buy the actual office 365 so let's navigate on what we can see so here we can see the word document we can see powerpoint template for presentation the excel workbook for excel spreadsheets we have the forms the quiz list and i think either one of these is used to create a questionnaire i'm not too sure about that and then we have the design template if you want to design something we have the clip champ which is um also a template or an app that you can use to do your blogging and vlogging and arrange your videos in um in in order and we have the page and we can click on the next page so first so we go to um, the apps. So the apps, when you click on the apps, all the apps are shown here. So the majority of the apps or the main apps here are the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, ClipChamp, and all that. So as you go further, we see the calendar, the designer, the editor. Editor is kind of an, a grammar. Grammar, I think it checks your grammar. It's a grammar checking app. We have the Microsoft Defender, which is a paid version we have loop and uh, we can see a whole lot of um, apps that microsoft has so you can use all these things directly online or you can install the apps locally onto your machine without using it to to without using going online to work with it so when you install it locally to your machine you can work with it offline but since i already have the app here i'm not going to um, really install or do anything again so let's see how we can use any of these templates for free so when i go to word whatever i do in word or whatever i do in the office i use office microsoft office 4 will be stored here so we can see all my apps are or all my files are stored over here same as with my powerpoint so all my presentations and whatever i did they are all stored here for excel is also the same so let's see how we can actually use word so yesterday i created um a file that is a word file on svm and i'm going to click it and open it so open Opening, it can give you the option of opening desktop or open file location, but I'll just say open. So when you click on open, it opens it in a new tab, all right? Or you can open it directly on your machine, like on your, on your local computer. So whatever you created will be the same as what will be shown online. We can make editing and make some changes in, in on any of these things over here okay so let's go back to the word document so if you want to choose a template you can click on see more templates when you click on see more templates it gives you a variety of templates we can choose from so we have the resume template we have a blank template as well we you can see the report template and others if you are satisfied with your search you can also click on explore all templates which will lead you to a different tab and will show you all the templates that are available so these are some of the templates microsoft um, has created so we can click on show all and 
it brings out more templates, a variety of them. So if you if you are interested, you can choose any template of your choice. All right. So let me try with the um, Excel. Okay, let me try with the Excel. So I also click on see more templates, and I see the templates available here, which I don't like because I'm a colorful person. So I love things that are a bit colorful. So something like this is colorful, which I may choose, or this one. Um, so that is how it is. Um, when you click on show all, you see a variety of templates. But let me check on the PowerPoint. So when you click on PowerPoint, we see a variety of templates. And one thing I want to show you is, let's say we want this template, all right? We, get, we can say preview. And see how the template is going to appear. If we want to create, all right, create is going to open it in a new blank, uh, blank tab, and then um, it shows you how the PPT or the uh, the PowerPoint will look like. All right, so you can see um, a variety of them. So whilst it's loading, wait for it to load so we can see. So we can just click on next, next, next and see a variety of templates that are available. So we can see this is how the template is. That is how the PPT is going to be like, very bright and very sharp. The colors are really sharp. If you don't want that, you can also choose this one, all right, and click on create. Okay, but let me show you one more thing. If you click on create, it opens in the a new tab. So as we go, as we wait for it to load. Okay, we wait for it to load. Let me see preview and create. Yeah, we wait for it to load. Yeah, yeah. So we can see, and we can actually also download this file to our computer all right so export download as pdf export to odp export to images all right so maybe we don't want this and this is also another file that we can see so one thing is um if you are unsatisfied with it and um, you want you can actually search for more you can search for more from these apps so one thing is that um you can click on explore all templates when you click on explore all templates, we he, here we can see explore presentation templates, which is going to show you a variety of templates. So what is this is, is we can customize it in uh, our PowerPoint. So let's say I want to customize this PowerPoint. We can actually view it first. So a place, a short video to show you the slides, how the slides are going to be and how colorful they are. So you can actually enlarge this or make it smaller, all right? So if you are satisfied, you can click on the download to download this. If not, you can you can actually go back and click on more and choose more templates or check on more templates. So let's see which one is, um, which one will be nice. Depending on what you want to do, so let's say we can choose this for presentation. If you choose this for presentation, you can customize in PowerPoint. If you say customize, that means you can do everything online without downloading the template. You can do everything online. So first of all, I'm going to sign in to my PowerPoint using my Microsoft account. So it's signing in for me. And it's getting things ready as you can see here. Yeah. So here we can make some editing. We can write our title here, write our agenda, or do whatever we want. But if you want to work locally on your computer, you click on download. And we wait for the app to download for us. Yeah, so it gives us the option to download. So I click on save. And then we head over to the save the downloaded section. And we click and see this is our template. 
and we say enable editing and this is how it's going to be so we can actually um do a powerpoint show to see if this is what you want so this is a short tutorial on how to use office 365 for free you don't need to purchase if you don't have and what if you don't have the money and one thing is if you're a student and you have the office 2016 you are at least ready to use office 365 for free so this is a short video so like and subscribe to my channel like my videos and subscribe thank you very much